Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog here on Superlative Radio. I'm The Saw, and uh, I want to talk to you guys today about the... Um, just, uh, I think it was last week I heard this, so roughly around the end of November, uh, I heard about the fact that St. John, New Brunswick wants to introduce legislation that if you are involved in an accident and you are not a resident of the city, they're going to bill you a thousand dollars if they have to like have the police or the fire or the ambulance or whatever respond. I don't know where they get off thinking that, that this is an acceptable thing. And, um, I know myself, I would tell them where they can go stick it because I wouldn't be paying it. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I look at it and I think, you know, a thousand dollars, you're going to bill somebody, even if you're not at fault, you're walking along the sidewalk and some jerk veers off the road, clips you with the car and you get hurt. They're going to bill you a thousand dollars. Like, think about that for a minute. That's, that, that, that's just not, that's not right. I mean, I can see if you're at fault and you're not a resident of that city or you're, you know, whatever, that's different. To bill somebody who's not even at fault for services being called, I don't think that's right. And if like a, a lot of you out there, if you think the same way that I do, um, then you need to, you need to let, you know, you need to let people know because it's just, it's, first of all, if I was a small business owner in that city, I would be pissed that the city is doing something to cause people to go elsewhere. There is a, there's a bunch of people on Facebook as an example, and they're talking about it and people are saying they're going to go shop in KV. They're going to shop in Fredericton. They're going to shop in Sussex. They're going to shop in Moncton. If I had a small business and I heard there were people that were just going to be like, so all those people in Sussex that can drive to St. John, which is shorter than driving to Moncton, not by much, but a little bit driving to St. John to shop, decide, well, hell with that, we're all going to go to Moncton because I'm not going to risk getting into an accident in St. John. Just think about the money that businesses are going to lose. Think about tourism, all of the things that you can't just start billing people for emergency services like that. That's what our taxes are for. Maybe a St. John and the people who run it, like Don Darling, if you took your head out of your ass for just two seconds, just long enough to wipe the shit off your nose, you would realize that the reason people aren't moving to that crappy city is because you guys don't allow anything. You don't do anything to make it better. Like, there was talk years ago of putting a casino in St. John. When it up happened, they fought tooth and nail not to have the casino. The casino went to Moncton. Now Moncton gets all of those shows and all of that business because all that goes there. And good for Moncton. You know, good on them. You know, apparently they, they have enough people up there that are smart enough to realize that they don't move forward and develop things. And it's like they have this thing about, well, this building's historical, so we can't tear that down. Yeah, it was built 300 years ago. Tear the fucker down and build a new one. Honestly, who cares about anything that's that old that's a death trap to begin with to probably live in? Nobody. You know, the, the, the way they let people charge for rent, the slumlords that there are in this city, there and there's a shitload of them. You know, you got to think, you're not doing the city any favors. Businesses don't open here. They go somewhere else. You think about when a new store is coming to the Maritimes, where does it go? First, it goes to Halifax. Then it goes to Moncton. Then where does it go? Well, it doesn't come to St. John next. It'll go to Fredericton, which has a smaller population before it comes to St. John. It'll go to Charlottetown before it comes to St. John. Again, smaller population. It'll go to Dartmouth, which is right across the harbor from Halifax. You're talking about 
so many things that just get bypassed over the city and it's because they refuse to do anything to encourage people. Like their whole concept is, well, people are moving out of the city so we don't have as much tax money. What are we going to do? Let's raise taxes. Geez, that's going to solve. Why don't you lower taxes a lot and encourage people to move to the city? The reason people have moved out of the city is because the tax rate in the city is too high. That's why people move out of it. They don't move out of it because it's a city. Most people prefer to be in an urban area because of the convenience of shopping, doctors, you know, whatever they need to do. That's why at most you see people move to suburbs because they're still close enough to the city that they can do those things, but it's cheaper to live because the taxes are lower. Like when I, when I think about <clears throat> the home that I live in, okay, and what my taxes are in the community I live in, and then compare that to what they'd be in St. John, they'd be two or three times as high. And that's ridiculous. I'm 10 minutes outside the city. 10 minutes on the highway, I'm into the city. Big deal. And a lot of people think the same way. That's why that's why KV and Grand Bay and Westfield, that's why those areas are building up more and more and more and more people. Because the people in the city don't want to pay the tax rate because it's crazy. So if you had half a brain, Dawn Darling, and the rest of the stupid city council, because you guys are all asshat backwards, you're more concerned with giving yourselves raises and lining your own pockets with money than you are doing the right thing, lower taxes and convince people to move back. You know what? Give people a give people an incentive to move back. Say, hey, if you come and you buy a new home or you buy a home in the city, not only are you going to pay less taxes, but we're going to give you $1,000 for doing so. Think of something logically. You know, when when a, when a when somebody wants to do something to invigorate some life into the city, don't put it to it. Just yes, approve it. Let them do it. You know, like they wanted, like with that casino as an example. Nope. And now look at the southern end of the south end. That still looks like a dump down there. Instead of it could have all been built up with a nice casino where there would have been all kinds of money. Think about all those, all of those cruise ships that come in. All those people would have got off a cruise ship. They would have seen a casino. Guess where they would have gone? You know, it, it, there, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand some of this stuff, but you have to stop being ass backwards. And remember, you shouldn't be billing anybody $1,000 simply because they have an accident, especially if they're not at fault. Anyway, that's my vlog for today. You guys right here on the next one, Sperlative Radio. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime, and when you do, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be.